heritage that has been handed down to you, my comrades. And you must not be found wanting from the graves of our dead. Come forth and cry to you, fight on! We must not have died in vain. Comrades, how will you answer them? to wait now. The time is rotten ripe for action. You have a mother, Langan. Ireland is greater than a mother. You have a wife, Kedendero. Ireland is greater than a wife. I have to hear the speakers tell me. It's a sacred truth they've been saying. Aye, and if I was only a little younger, I'd be plunging mad into the middle of it myself. Give us a point, Sammy. Great meeting outside. Aye. Well, it's up to us all anyway to fight for our freedom. Freedom? What's the use of freedom, the self-economic freedom? I use them very words myself just before you come in. A lot of tricksters, says I. They wouldn't know what freedom was if they got it from their mother. Didn't I, Tommy? I just remember. Well, up the red house. There's the man marching out into the dread dimness of danger. Like me own boy, while the vermin is crawling about, drinking and feeding on the fatness of the land. Now, don't pay, pay no attention to her. She has a drop taken. Well, that was a grand meeting. A grand meeting. The memory of all the things that was done and all the things that were suffered by the Irish people was booming in me brain. You know, every nerve in me body was quivering to do something desperate. Listening to the speeches pattering on the people's heads like rain falling on the corn. Every derogatory thought went out to me mind and I said to myself, you can die now, Flutha. Yeah. Do you see them babes? Well, the blood was boiling out. I can't for the life of me understand how they can call themselves patriotic when they won't lift a finger to help poor little Belgium. What about poor little Ireland? You mind your own business, ma'am, and stupefy your foolishness be getting drunk. Ah. 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 There's a storm of anger tossing in me heart, thinking of all the poor autonomies and with my own son, drenched in water and soaked in blood groping their way to a shattered and death in a shower of shells. Ah, to look at some of the women that's knocking about now. It's enough to make a body sigh. A woman on her own drinking with a crowd of men is hardly an example to her sex. Ginny Gorgon's a woman living for nigh on 25 years in her own room. And beyond bidding the time of day to her neighbours, never gets as much as nodded her head in the direction of other people's business. Bessie Burgess doesn't put up to know much, never having a swagger in mind. But the sum she knows decorating that finger with a well-polished wedding ring would be hard put to it if they were asked to show that wedding line. Oh, yeah,
go to bed, Martha. It's too late for you to be up. I'll wait up for your mother. And you'll not be tired yourself? I shan't go until Jack comes home. Good night. But then, there's always some neighbor who wants to leave a baby with you for a while. Though I, I don't suppose that's quite the same as, as having one of your own. You'll want a man by you, Walter. Will I, Mrs. Clitheroe? But why? If all they do is make you unhappy. Make no mistake, child. A woman's never happy unless she has a man beside it. It's a woman's nature to love. Just as it's a man's nature to fight. And neither one can help it more than the other. It's only waste of time talking to you, comrade. Oh, 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 don't be comrade in me, mate. I'd want to be on me last legs if I wanted you for a comrade. It's highly ridiculous for a red flag socialist to be officially trying with heavy words to down a man like Mr. Fluther here that's well flavored in the knowledge of the world he's living in. Nobody's asking you to be putting in. It'll be a long time before the Colby will take any instructions or reprimanding from a common duty. You! You little number of nation! If I were the man, you would want to be a little I'm not going to let you degrade yourself by talking to a speech-making loafer. No. If you've anything to say, say it to Flutha. And let me tell you that you're not going to be pass remarkable to any lady in my company. Now, easy with them hands, easy with them hands. You're taking a bit of a risk when you start to paw the Colby. Come on, men of the men! Fighting Fluther. Desire of itself, men like Fluther to die is getting scarce nowadays. Look at the, the second time I, I hit him, I thought I killed him. <laughs> Give me my hat. Irish men and Irish women, we hereby proclaim the Irish Republic sovereign, independent state. And we pledge our lives and the lives of our comrades in arms to the cause of its freedom, of its welfare, and of its exaltation among the nations.
We're going to the park. Remember? You promised. Well, if Mrs. Clitheroe wants to parade through the park and show off her finery, come on. doing that. You're watching the children. It's Easter Sunday. Beat it. silly you are. I came home, didn't I? None the worse for wear. But what's to happen now, Jack? Well, we'll go home and have our dinner. And then I may... Mind you, now, I only said I may. Help you with the dishes. Then we might go and listen to the band concert. Then a bite of supper. Oh, Jack. You're such a child. For all you being common then. Like a little boy. Playing. A child, is it? I'll show you what a child... Oh, no, Dora. Someone might see us. Well, let them see, then. Is there any shame in a man kissing his own wife? Hey, Plato! I went to your house. You weren't there. This is urgent. Sorry, darling. You'll have to walk home alone. Where are you going? Liberty Hall. Jack! Now, don't worry, darling. I'll be home before long. Comrades, the time has come. Our men are mobilized and ready to strike. You all have your instructions. Headquarters will be established at the post office. Once word of what we are doing spreads, the English troops will be upon us. However, because we are taking our position by surprise, we will have a brief advantage. I do not know whether we will win or lose. But I do know that we are firm in our cause. Commandant Clitheroe, form your men.